Well, Bob, we have reached the weekend. We have. That's a good thing. It is good. Yeah, <laughs> finally, uh, the weekend yeah. is here. I had a couple of days of showers, heavy rainfall mm -hmm. Wednesday. Tonight, not as bad, not as bad but the, some showers and rain falling on our birds That's out there. Right. That I could just sunny. barely see them. You know, uh, this is obviously videotaped from earlier, but mm -hmm. I could still see Sunny kind of hanging out there tonight, uh, even despite the darkness. But yeah, you can kind of see some shadows yes. of them. Yeah. Only one. He's the only one there. He's the only really? one there. Yeah. I wonder just, what they do at night when they're not in the nest. Yeah, you wonder about that. Going out, <laughs> hanging out. It's yeah, Friday night. it's Friday yeah. night. <laughs> Clubby. <laughs> Club Osprey. That's yeah, right. Wherever that is. I, you know, you, it could be this weekend. Who knows? Monday. We hope to see uh, Sunny still there on Monday, but mm -hmm. you never know. It could be gone. Be sure to tune into mysuncoast.com too uh, through the weekend and check on. Sunny, see if he's uh, departed yet. And as far as the Anna Maria webcam goes, well, we had some clouds around earlier. A pretty nice afternoon. And then showers pushing in this evening as a result of a little piece of energy again, kind of rotating around an area of low pressure. And that is now bringing us some moderate to heavy rainfall. The clouds were impressive today. Get a look at that one real quickly. Uh, we saw that quickly. We'll go back to it again. Uh, the uh, clouds were coming in this morning and then a beautiful afternoon. I just said this, didn't I? A nice day uh, throughout much of the afternoon. And then we have uh, seen this little uh, piece of energy come in. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Here's what's happening. Outflow boundary. Look at Zachary getting this one. I just thought this was so impressive of this wall cloud, or actually it's a roll cloud associated with the gust front out ahead of the very heavy rainfall. This is another shot from Pelican Point Country Club. John Vetus getting this as it moved on through. Uh, didn't bring a lot of rainfall this morning and uh, this afternoon, but boy, showers now are pretty heavy across the region as a result of this uh, very active uh, low pressure area to our north and a little piece of energy kind of rotating around it, bringing with it some showers and storms a little underplayed by some of the forecast models. Uh, but now that rainfall continues to push off to the east, more on the way to the west of it, but it's starting to weaken there. Braden still getting some rain. We had some in northwest Braden, Anna Maria starting to clear out. Uh, Parish, some moderate to heavy rainfall all the way down to Lakewood Ranch. This activity just moved on shore near Siesta and also all the way down to Osprey and Nakoma is getting, uh, getting ready to see some moderate to heavy rainfall. Shouldn't be a lot. Shouldn't be a lot of lightning either. Maybe one or two strikes with it as it pushes off to the east. Uh, most of the lightning now well to the south and west of us and this will all shift to the east overnight. So as we're sleeping, sky should start to clear by sunrise tomorrow and we'll look for a pretty decent weekend really. A little drier air moving in uh, by late Sunday as a weak front moves on through. Currently at the airport now at 75. Dew point is at 70. There's some rain there occurring and winds out of the north northwest at 17. Had a gust today up to 45 miles an hour estimated uh, at Anna Maria as that first line moved on through right around noon. 91 today. The high just a few degrees shy of the record of 94 degrees. That was set back in 1974. And we're getting the rain now at the airport so our totals have not been updated but uh, it looks as though we will be over three and a half inches above average for our rain thus far this month. 71 in Jacksonville, 77 in Orlando, a bit cooler uh, to the north of us. Still warm though in Key West at 80, 78 degrees now in Miami and temperatures pretty much in the low 70s where the rain has moved in. Still upper 70s in inland areas where that rain has not reached yet. And this Arcadia at 78, Northport at 79. Northport, you'll be getting some rainfall here in just about uh, within an hour or so as that shower activity moves on. Well, you can see the inland storms tomorrow. There's a chance for that happening. Not much along the coastline. Uh, with a west wind, we expect temperatures to stay in the mid 80s for highs. It will be a little humid, though. Uh, by Sunday, you'll start to see there's a weak line of clouds here. That's the actual front. It will slide through relatively unnoticed here. We're not looking for a lot of rainfall with it on Sunday, but behind it, you can see all the clear skies as high pressure will build back in. That will dry things out and cool us down ever so slightly. Just a couple degrees cooler anticipated on through. It looks like uh, Monday and Tuesday. Well, temperatures uh, on the cooler side, but nothing extreme. 59 now in Toronto, 63 in St. Louis, 71 in Dallas now and Atlanta checking in at 64 degrees. For boaters, looks good. Winds out of the south turning to the west at 5 to 10 knots. Seas will be running two feet or less throughout the weekend. A light chop on the bays and inland waters. Maybe the wind's picking up once that front moves on through on late Sunday, but it shouldn't be too bad. 83 degree water temperature and beaches should see a high near 84. Tides upcoming. The next uh, high tide will be at 157. Forecast tonight, partly cloudy. Storms late, 72. And then north winds 5 to 10. The extended forecast is calling for a chance for showers tomorrow. Not all that great. Less on Sunday and then dry Monday and Tuesday, even on Wednesday. And then we'll start to warm back up and it will get humid once again on Thursday and Friday.